Okay, hopefully I'm not boring you yet, but I always like to watch these videos to see how people organize and stuff, so if you're like me, you won't be bored. I don't know. Is he right by us? in Houston, Texas, or just outside Houston, Texas, in Willis, Texas, and today is the day you get a tour of our fifth wheel. So, come on in and I'll show you what we got. First of all, we have this thing outside where we track where we've been, but I'm still missing Texas. I haven't grabbed it out yet, but <clears throat> so far we've kept our time in the West, and the rig we have is a Jayco 4212 seismic and it's a toy hauler so come on in all right so I'm gonna give you a tour of the main room today and on another video I'll show you Haley's room and the little boys room so this is the main living room and it's also Carter's room and Haley's room so <clears throat> I'll just start showing you what's in here. So, oh. all right, Carter is my videographer. Thanks, Carter. So this is the hallway to the master bedroom and we've added stuff to hang on all the doors. So this used to be for jackets when we were in a cold climate, but now it's hot. So uh, we moved those and here's the bathroom, which I'll show you on a different tour and come over here and film this. Can you get the whole quote? So this is a quilt we had to put on vinyl and Haley helped me apply it and this is kind of our theme. I like to think of it as our theme when we're traveling around. And then we also have this vinyl over here. And up here we have this little thing we've applied with command strips. Anything on the wall we just use command strips. So this right here. We keep all the flashlights in so at night someone can just grab a flashlight if they're walking outside. And then we also hang our keys up there. And then down here by the front door, we've got a nice mat that I really liked. And then we keep dad's canes here and a hiking stick and also fire extinguisher. And then right here, we have um, the temperature gauge inside and outside. And then we also have a remote control. Um, Thing that helps move our awnings in and out and also turn on the external lights and then this is where we hang our dog leash right here on the curtain rod and so we can take him out and oh one thing over here is the rig has central vac so if we ever sweep we can just bring all the dirt over this little thing and it's 
sucks up all the dirt. So right here we've got our deck. Is it on? Yes. Okay, so right here we've got our entertainment center and we've got right here the command central where we have all the buttons and we always keep the water heater on and the cargo bed which is for the toy collar in the back. And then up there I keep my Karma and GoPro stuff. And then this is the DVD player and it also has um, speakers for outside stereo. And then I bought a lot of locker things um, at the beginning of the school year so that I can use the height. So, so far we have nothing up there, but it was where we were keeping a camera before. And then in this cupboard we have our charging station so the kids keep their iPads and phones and stuff up here. And up there we've got more of Carter's homeschooling stuff because he has a lot of paperwork and stuff. And then this is our TV that comes out. Does it come out? No. Oh, it does. So it can come out and swivel. And we keep our hot spot behind it for Wi-Fi. We currently just have one hot spot, but we were thinking of getting another one. Because you can only do a certain number of devices per hot spot. And then behind this little couch, we have a fireplace. So when we want to use it on a cold night, I move the couch right over here. And then usually whoever sits here can put their feet on that. And then we can turn on the fireplace. And it's actually a space heater. There's no flame. But it keeps the room really nice and warm. And it adds a little ambiance. Here's a speaker. And then we keep the remote next to the speaker. Down here we've got our DVDs. And on this side. You want to come see? And over here we've got more of Carter's stuff. Like some weights. And this is his bedroom at night so we, he has some of his stuff kind of slid back there like computers and chargers and this is our stand back in that corner hold on I'm getting hot is it on? I'm keeping it running you can cut it okay. later so one thing I first tell you about this command center is can you look over here so this is how you tell like how everything's functioning so we've got slide the slide and this big area right here is the only slide we have in this room so this comes in and out when we travel and then the two awnings that are outside can come in and out from here and then this is where we turn on the internal and external lights. lights so that's turning on and off and then you also check the levels of your tanks so we have two tanks, one in the back and one in the front. So we check, if you want to check the battery level, you just push battery and right now it's fully charged. And if you have for black number one tank, it's two thirds full. So we probably need to empty that. For black number two tank, it's two thirds full. So we need to empty that. And then gray one is two thirds full and gray two is one third full. So sometime today, we usually like to not get it to the full level and so we have to empty that out and if we're um, boom docking you sometimes you can also heat the water not only by electricity but by gas so if we wanted to do that we can push gas heater or the water tank heater and you can also check or turn on your generator from here too so this is like everything you need to know to keep things running and it took us a while to figure that out we were freezing the first night because we couldn't figure out how to turn on the heater Okay. So, one thing we did since we have eight people in our family is add some furniture. So we added that little couch um, with storage. I don't even know what's in here. Oh, one little minion. And then we added this chair, which we slide around whenever we want to get out to the balcony. But it's kind of nice to have a little more seating. We also bought these things from Walmart. Do you remember how much they cost? They're like something under 20 or something. So we add these as like TV trays and Carter has it by his bed at night to put his computer on and stuff. So that's something we like to add because it's less heavy than the giant ones. In this cupboard, 
This is the dog favorite things. Here you go. Come over here and show what's in the cupboard. So in this cupboard, um, we keep all the cleaning supplies. Can you do that down? Oh, okay, that's good. Cleaning supplies, and we added a door hanger here. And I also keep the giant containers of oil and vinegar, which I usually I'll just buy small ones, but I wanted to use up the old ones first. And now I'll show you the balcony. So this is the balcony, and it folds up when you're driving and folds down when you're stationary. So come on out. We added our kitchen table out here because there are tables you can add inside, but we just wanted it to be more roomy. So this is where we keep our kitchen table. And it's kind of good and kind of bad. At night, no one wants to sit out here because there's bugs. So eating is usually inside, but in breakfast time, it's kind of nice to be out here. And then we added Big Joe here, that chair. For whoever wants to sit out here, usually it's the dog. This table we got at Walmart for $17. That was quite a sale I was very happy about. And these chairs weren't cheap. They were from Lowe's. And out here we have an outdoor where the kids can usually watch cartoons but we can't figure out the cable at this site for some reason. Down here we have an ex external we have an outdoor refrigerator which usually has drinks but I think it's empty. Oh there's a few. So when it's time to load up on travel days all these sides fold down and we put all of this stuff in the back of the toy hauler and then you can lift up the sides and lock it so um, Carter usually is the person who does that job except it is light enough for Miles to do it who's 10. It's not light enough. Hmm? It's not light enough. Is this the one that's heavy or the other one? They're both really heavy. Well, anyway, this one's heavier. But... Carter can do it by himself or I can do it usually with Miles <clears throat> and also this holds a lot of weight so I can't remember the exact amount of weight, but we've had our entire family out here and it supports the weight just fine. I think it's supposed to hold. Do you remember how much weight it can hold out here? I thought it was 200 something. No, it's like, it's a lot, it's, it holds a lot of weight. We've all been out here, eight people can fit out here at least. And then here's our two awnings that are automatically, they come out in, in automatically. And we have up here, you can't see them, but right now, or you can't see them right now, but there's LED lights at night, which are nice. You cut it. Okay, hopefully I'm not boring you yet, but I always like to watch these videos to see how people organize and stuff, so if you're like me, you won't be bored. I don't know. Here is our diffuser, and I usually have lemon going because it makes a nice, fresh smell. And if you want to come over here, Carter. Up here, we've got some cabinets, and they're really high, so I don't like to get up there, but we keep all the chips and snacks up there. And I also bought um, cardboard poster board and dowels or um, tension rods and I was going to add a shelf up there but so far I like having tall stuff but I do I think I might add a shelf in the middle of it so that I have you know layers and up here we've got more snacks so I can't reach that one but basically it's more snacks um, One thing I don't really like about this rig is this room can feel claustrophobic. Some people's rigs, they have two slide outs on both sides. So this one feels kind of squished sometimes. Um, but we kind of had to get a toy hauler because we've got six children. So Haley sleeps in the loft up there. Carter sleeps on the couch. And then we've got four boys in the back. We keep our trash can right here, which I happen to have my purse on right now. And then if we have tables set up here, we'll move the trash can just around the corner. Are you at a good angle? Yeah, try to get back so it looks big. Okay, so tour of the kitchen. We've got our sink here with this handy handle, which I really like. We do have something that can go on top of the sink right here, but I usually keep it out. Um, and then I added this to this side so that there's always two places that we can 
put clean dishes so I don't like to keep this full if I can help it and then we added this piece it used to be this white thing we kept in our old house but I spray painted it dark brown and up here we keep a um, container of lighters and spoons and then this outdoor picnic holder for paper plates and stuff and then up here I've got um, just fun books if the kids are bored they can grab and color and then we also keep our butter up here and tissues and then um, we added this feature to the side of it we just screwed in this paper towel holder so that it's always out of the way so when we travel we have, one of my jobs is to take this down and put it right here and then when the slide comes in it comes right up to it and so it travels down but while we're up here I wanted to use this space um, to my advantage so we just keep the curtain open or closed like that and this um, I thought use this space better because if not it was, I just thought it was wasted space and then we added this feature from I think we bought it at Home Depot for $60 I can't remember but I needed more counter space to prepare food so right now it's turned around so the kids can have pictures on it. But we have it hold our pots and pans. And then uh, straws and dish towels, things like that. So we just keep it right here and we just go around it. So I liked that we added this. Um, one thing that was a problem when we first moved in was I didn't want the kids lighting the propane stove or the gas stove top because they had to light a flame. So we just recently got this toaster oven from Walmart for... $150. It was oh. cheap. $99? Really? $79? I thought it was $150. Oh. I think it was $80. Maybe the blender was $150. The blender was more money than the toaster oven, but I like this because now they can just push toast, start, and they can make toast, or we can cook um, anything in here, pizza, or anything you can bake. I made this pie the other day, um, and we make cookies. On top of the toaster oven, I added this um, cutting board so that it's just more surface space. So usually we put stuff up here that are treats and things that we have. Last night we got pizza so that Doug could take me on a date. And then when I need to use the stove top, I just push, lift this whole thing and stick it here. And then I use that stove. And I hardly use this propane um, oven very much. Um, I probably could, but I just, I just don't usually use it. This is something we also bought. It is our ice maker. And we used to live in Arizona for 12 years. So you care deeply about ice if you live in Arizona. So come on over, because I really like this feature. Actually, one thing we discovered is we can't have too many things plugged in at the same time or it blows the fuse. So I unplug this to use that and we unplug this to use that. So right now, if I want to have ice going all day long, I just plug it in, push on. I want small ice. Is that the pinky ring kind or the other kind? And then it just, when it gets full, it stops making it. And we just always have ice. So that is a really nice feature because one thing about RV life is that sometimes you just really want a cold drink with ice. And we have a... Everyone thinks we're really weird because we always have drinks full of ice to the very top. I know. When I go to the gas station, if they get me ice like halfway full, I get really mad. Like, who only got me half ice? I want it all the way to the top. And then we buy a drink on the side. Yeah, but like I've got in drinks for people, and they're always like, oh, you always keep like fill it up with ice, so I get like twenty percent drink. That's why you get the drink on the side, people. Yes, but not in Spanish Fork. There's like sipping, not this. Stuff well, we're doing. right and they're wrong, cause ice is where it's at. So we have this fruit ninja, cause we like to do a lot of smoothies, and what else have I used in here? We make salsa in here. Milkshakes milkshakes and we just use this a lot we like it and I, lately I've been keeping some of our bigger drinks when I do the ice I usually use this spring water that I buy from the store instead of RV water because RV water is usually gross so we just buy our spring water some people buy a um, 
water purifier, but I don't want to have that in my counter space. So we just buy this and it's really cheap. So that's what fills our ice maker all the time. And now I'll show you the cupboards. So up here, we keep all of our dishes. So we've got our mugs. Each person has one mug. We've got some plastic stuff. I always keep paper um, cups also. And then we don't have that many dishes. Like I brought one bowl per person, one couple plates, and we keep paper products as well. This is where I keep all the spices. And then up there are the big bowls. It is really hard to get to the high places, so usually Haley will climb on this table and reach for me. And then up here, we keep um, certain types of food. So when Haley and I were organizing the kitchen, we decided to put anything that was a box up here. So these are box things like cornbread or graham crackers or soup or popcorn, anything that comes in a box so that when we unload groceries, it's easier for everyone to know where things go. So those are our box things. And then down here, we keep our cans. And so down here, we've got cans all the way back. And also dog food cans are up here. And I always just keep a spare garbage thing right there and also dish soap. And when we travel, I like to keep as many tubs around as possible so that nothing shifts around too much. And then cans continue over here. Top shelf are hot chocolate, syrup, and lemonade, and the bottom are just cans. So we've got three cupboards of cans. And then up here, this is just the random stuff that we use in the kitchen and utensils. We tuck our knives toward the back for the little kids. Where did I forget? There's a drawer under the oven, but we never really oh, yeah. use it. Oh yeah, I did start using that, so come over here. So there is a drawer down here, which I started putting potatoes and some foil dishes. One thing I hate about RV life is no dishwasher. Because with a big family, you go through a lot of dishes. So I started buying some foil things, so if I make a casserole, I can just throw it away after and not scrub it in this sink, which has no garbage disposal. And then some people store things in their oven, but I don't, so. Sometimes I do store things in the microwave, though. Like right now we have... Duct tape. <laughs> a container with all of our command strips and things that we might need. Super glue. So come over here. Right here I've got... Um, I don't even know what this is called, but we just thought it was cute. I bought this at Target and it's applied just with command strips that are for 16 pound things and we keep different candies in it so currently we've got M&M's gummy bears and Swedish fish and then I got these at Walmart we're missing one right now but each kid has their own water bottle for hiking and then up here I keep all the hot pads and then we keep our atlas and our adventure book and Miles got a Polaroid camera so he's going to be adding to that and then here, we already did a video about this, which I can link, but we map out where we're heading usually. So let me find one. So if we're heading to a state like, what state is this? South Carolina, if we've heard of anything that's there that's fun, or if we know of anyone that lives there, we mark it on the map. And then we try to get there, you know, cause it's hard to remember all the places you wanna go or the people who live wherever they live and so we just put post-it notes to remind ourselves later that when we're there visit those things so that's our atlas and I actually need to keep that in the car because last time we were driving from Abilene Texas to where are we going Abilene Texas to Austin we were out in the middle of nowhere and there was no reception so my Google Maps wasn't working and I didn't know where to go and there's tons of little highways in Texas so I was confused. So luckily we had a map in the car but I wish I would have had that map because that map I have in the car is really old. So I'm going to start carrying that with us just in case we're in remote places. Okay so now we are over to more food. This is our pantry and Haley's ladder is here. Haley are you up there? Haley's up there in her room. And this is where we keep 
more food so I bought these containers from Costco I can't remember how much but it came in a pack of three and we keep chips and pretzels dog food cookies cereal um, so as many containers as possible so that it won't what's wrong nothing as many containers as possible so that things won't um, shift when you're driving so and then there's on the bottom shelf are jars so anything that is glass jar always goes on the bottom shelf and then anything else we can fit so I was gonna add a shelf here with um, that poster board but so far we've had a few tall things so I haven't so so that is the pantry and the only thing I haven't added which I need to is a container for sugar for Kool-Aid and stuff oh we added our chore chart here and our flice waters because there's always bugs around and then we keep our bags here for garbage cans and then for this door I wanted to use that space so we added this over the door hanger that I bought on Amazon for I think it was 15 or 20 dollars and we keep fruit and bread there and then Haley gets the top shelf for her stuff and the couch can you just get back and show the whole couch okay so this is Carter's bed and sometimes we tuck his stuff away and sometimes we leave it but we really liked this couch um, some rigs have like a dinette set, but we needed a big couch because I've got a tall son who's 6'2", or 6'1", how tall are you? 6'2". 6'2", so we needed a tall couch for him, and we also like this couch because it has a few fun features. Cup holders, charging station, USBs, and it heats and it massages and it all reclines, so that's one nice thing about it. And then at night we have blinds that come down and there's two sets. Oh. That's the blacked out ones. So here's one set of blinds if it's just too sunny and then we have blackout blinds that we do at night. Ugh. Over here can you see? You might need to come up for some So over here we have three shelves here on this side of the couch and three over there. And this is where we keep the kids homeschooling stuff. So up there we've got Lewis's homeschooling books. And this is Wyatt's shelf and Carter's shelf. Which is nice because it's near his bed. He can put his stuff there. One thing that has been frustrating for him since he's our... He's one of our two teenagers is that he doesn't have a room or a space of his own. So that's been frustrating. This is Haley's shelf, and Miles's shelf, and Max's shelf. And they just keep all their school books there. What else? That's it. Did you show those quotes up there? Yeah. The I, quotes? I got them during the cabinet. Okay. The cabinet take wrap scene. One thing we added also is when we discovered the back of the couch has a plug, and so we have extension cords going to both sides, and they're tucked on the side so that we can plug in extra things like computers or whatever we want to use and this is where we keep our dog bowl which we bought at Camping World because it's a non-spillable dog bowl so when you drive if you spill stuff it goes to the bottom part of it and I liked it here because we can open this drawer and it won't interfere and in this drawer we keep cookie sheets and there's our charger back there which is completely safe by putting it next to water <laughs> yeah it's usually back more All right, so this is what we call our command center. So wait, what did I call that? You called that the command center. This is just the fridge. No, I called that? The command center. What did I call that? HQ, just move on. No, I have different names for it. Okay, so over there, all those buttons before for the heater and the slides and stuff, that is the control panel, and this is our command center. So this is, the whole function of this fridge is so that the kids know what's going on. So up here, we've got um, the daily tasks that they can expect and a couple chores that need to happen, 
and then our menu and then we have some extra things if they want to color they can grab one of these thingies I got that at Walmart our calendar and then some whiteboard markers and scissors and this is where we have our map that we've already done so we had in red dotted where we had hoped to go but things have changed a lot if you ever watch our videos so now this is where we've been so far here's some letters I've got from Max who's learning to read this is something that Haley did for me where um, the kids you go to so many cities that you start to wonder where am I again so we always put the city in the state and then things we want to do um, in the rainbow and then down here is where we're going to be heading next we're currently in Houston, Texas, and we don't know where we're going next because we're here on a family emergency to help out Doug's mom. And then we usually have the, wherever place we're at, they give you a flyer in the office with the Wi-Fi password, so we keep it right here so everyone knows the Wi-Fi password and the contact number of the manager. So I really like the command center. It keeps everyone organized. In the fridge, we keep Hopefully it's clean because I didn't organize it. Right now we have a lot of sodas in there because we just stocked up last night for the pizza. But we keep um, containers so that when you're driving things don't shift around. And I also had to move this shelf. It was lower but I raised it up so we could have some tall stuff here. So we keep cheese there, veggies there, um, short stuff like go and eggs and then all the container things contained. And so far it's been just fine. I go to the store about twice a week maybe. And we've been eating out way too much because, just because. Crisis living. Here's our freezer. We're currently having a freezer problem. It's, it needs to be defrosted. When we were driving before, um, the propane and the fridge, come over here. The propane and the fridge are usually supposed to work see like here's the it can be working on electricity or propane or it can just be electricity or it can just be propane so when you're driving it's supposed to switch back and forth but it didn't so anyway everything up here melted and we had to throw it away and it currently has a giant thing of ice right here and it's building ice in the back so I need to defrost it and fix the freezer issue but for now we keep smoothie things here and ice cream up here we've got tater tots our extra bag of ice. I told you we're crazy about ice. And meat and popsicles and stuff. So the freezer is a work in progress. Let's get that quote up there. Yeah. Okay. Anything I forgot? Oh, one thing that we like about this room is the garbage can. I think I got it at Lowe's. It wasn't cheap. It was like $60, but I like that it matched and we don't like that it hits the top, but it is nice that it fits in this space really well. And then when we drive, this whole thing comes over here by the fridge and it sits right there on the slide. And then when the slide comes in, when the slide comes in, it's out of the way. This feature um, is broken. is broken currently because here come back here so it's actually a long story but when we first were learning how to do this and we were having our first moving day I didn't take this thing down and so when I slid the slide in it caught this behind it and then when I tried to open the slide it basically burnt and it tore this off and it bent this and so if you look closely this is very bent and I was going to buy a new one, but then I decided I kind of like it bent because then I always remember when I look at it, don't forget to move this on moving day. So on moving day, I'll take this off and I put it by the sliding glass door tucked behind the black chair and then it's steady and it won't slide around anywhere. And then when we get to wherever we're going, I just put it back. But because of that problem, we still haven't fixed this issue, which I think is currently affecting the use of our TV, which we're sad about. But um, on moving day, everyone has their own little chores of where to put things, and the only way we figured that out is by breaking a few things the first time. One thing I've noticed when we travel is if anything's on the counter, it does shift, except heavy stuff. So 
We keep this on the counter. We keep this on the counter. Did we keep this on the counter last time? I can't remember. I think I did, and it stayed. It has really good grips. I kept this on the counter, and it slid all over the place. And I left butter out one time, and it got everywhere. So everything on the counter has to come down, and then anything on the countertop, I'll just put in the sink when we're driving, and then when we get where we're going, I just put it back. And everything else is locked down, so. One thing I'm a little sad about is I haven't had time to do too much decorating. So we have a few quotes that we like up and I wanted to add more greenery. Some people paint their RVs white so it looks more open, but this is very brown. So I wanted to add more color to it, but I haven't had time. So one of my things I'd like to do is go to Hobby Lobby and just get some colorful things because I feel like it's a bachelor pad sometimes. But one thing I did like was this which Carter showed you before, but it's our scratch map. So I bought this on Etsy and framed it with a frame I also I bought on Amazon. And then every time you get somewhere, you just scratch it off and underneath are pretty watercolors. Is it like climate? It's where we've been. No, like the colors. No, the colors are just pretty colors. Okay. So last time we scratched it, it was Haley who helped me out and I'll link the video to when we first got this which I haven't made the video yet, but I will. And that's our map, which we like. I think I'm gonna put another quote up there once I figure out what it is. We always keep the sliding glass door open in the day and at night we close the curtain and close everything up so that we have privacy because people can see in at night. Wherever there's light, that's where they can see. So if there's light on in here at night, people can see in. I think that's all. So that's the tour of our main room. I'll do other videos for the master bedroom, I'll link it here. And the toy hauler back room, I'll link the video there. And then Haley has her own room video that I'll link also. So hope you enjoyed it. See ya.